Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back. LCL Outdoors, appreciate y'all tuning in tonight, hanging out here in the garage with us. Hey, we got a new mold in yesterday. We opened the box up. We've not taken it out. <clears throat> we've we've never never used a, a mold from this company, but uh, they came out with a with a bait recently that we've had a lot of a lot of our customers asked us uh, for this style of bait. So we thought, hey, let's give them a try. Uh, we got on the net and got us a mold ordered to try out. We're going to unbox it for you guys tonight here to shoot it for the first time here on camera tonight kind of give you our opinions uh, what we think about it it's from epic bait modes uh, is where this is from uh, they do a good job on the boxing for shipping wrap the modes up Really nice. Cut this thing open, see what it looks like. We'll get some plastic cooked up here in just a moment and shoot it. Kind of give you guys our opinion of it. Show you here in just a second what, what mode it is. Shiny new modes. You got their company logo there. They actually label. They're actually labeling their modes top and bottom, uh, which is pretty nice. I usually take a Dremel and do that to mine if they don't have it on it. But this, as you guys can see, is a three inch crappie minnow. Had a lot of our customers asked us about doing a three inch minnow and we didn't have a mold. So we found this with Epic Bait Modes. Uh, we thought we'd give them a try. This is, is the only mold that we have with from Epic Bait Modes. Uh, hey, we're gonna get some plastic cooked up here tonight. Shoot this mold and we'll give you our opinion how it shoots and what we think about it. Y'all hang out with us for a little while. Might even release a couple new colors tonight. Stick around, let's see what we're shooting tonight. All right, y'all, we got some plastic cooked up. Got our mold set up. Got our injector all oiled up. Hey, we're gonna shoot this mold full. New mold with a new color tonight here in the garage. Let's see what we got here. Alright y'all, let's take these out of the mold and see what we come up with. A little purple watermelon. Check it out. A popular color in our area called bluegrass. It's a Bobby Garland color. I think we got a picture of it on our phone. We'll try to color match it, shoot some baits in it. Y'all hang out with us. We'll get the plastic mixed up. At the end of the video, we're going to give you, give you our recipe for it. All right, y'all. <clears throat> hey, I'm sure most of you know what bluegrass is, but this is the color that we're going to be matching here for our laminate tonight. We figure being here in Kentucky, what better color to match than bluegrass. As you can see, we get like a, a pearl blue with a blue flake on top, with just a touch of silver. And of course, naturally the uh, chartreuse and 
or touch of blue flake with a little silver highlight and the bottom you've got looks uh, green uh, green chartreuse is what we use for it but hey we're gonna try to match it tonight y'all hang out with us and uh, we'll walk you through walk you through the mixture as we're mixing we're gonna start off with some BB blue pearl 143 from lure works Just about, we're gonna, about three quarters of a quarter teaspoon full. Mix that in, see where that gets us to. Get our glove on, we don't wanna get burnt tonight. We've said in the past, it takes a little extra mixing on this pearl powder um, to get all the clumps out. Lure Works doesn't seem to be quite as bad as far as clumping up once you start mixing. But some of the others that we've used, they're, they seem to be a little bit contrary about that. about a quarter more put in. While we're doing that, we'll go ahead and put our silver in. Maybe we can mix it up at the same time. <clears throat> this is just Pearl Silver 931 from Barlow's Tackle. We're just going to put a smidge, I mean just a smidge, maybe eighth of a quarter teaspoon, if that makes any sense to everybody. Just a smidge, we'll just go with a smidge. If you were measuring it, it'd probably be about a sixteenth of a teaspoon. I don't, you know, we may have to add some more. Get it mixed up here and see what we got. a little bit more silver. End up being about an eighth of a teaspoon. Just what we need. Give us that silver sheen on the outside of the bait. Like the Bobby Garland has, you can kind of see it there in the cup. We'll set this back in the microwave, go ahead and get our bottom color mixed up. Uh, get our plastic cook mixed up and we'll meet you right back here when we're ready to mix it up. All right, y'all. <clears throat> we got our green chartreuse. We've already got it. Uh, we put 40 drops in. Didn't want to bore you guys to death. If you want to know why the 
plastics a little off color. We not mixed it up yet. We didn't want to bore you to death with counting drops, but this is the MF Green Chartreuse 3355 times two. We're gonna start out here with 40 drops and see what that gets us. I think we'll be pretty close there. Uh, a lot of your MF colors are pretty transparent, so that's something you'll just have to uh, mix to your liking. Uh, we don't quite like ours that transparent. Uh, we'll check it here at 40 drops and see where we're at. Uh, that's what we got right now. Still pretty transparent. We're going to put about 10 more drops in there. That'll make us 50 drops of the MF uh, green chartreuse. That puts us at 50 drops. Mix that in. We'll get our flake added and see what we got. We'll shoot this epic bake mode. We'll do a laminate with it. Get a feel for it. See how it's going to laminate. And Kind of give you guys our opinion of other product. We're just using uh, Lure Works 0 0.015, uh, the silver, one quarter teaspoon this is what we're adding to it. We may add some more, we may not. One thing about the green chartreuse, whenever you add flake to it, you will get your green, kind of green cast to it. Um, of course, when you laminate it against that blue, it, it's going to appear to be just a bit more green. We'll set this over here. Bring our blue back out. <clears throat> get our flake mixed in it, give it a good stir. And we'll pop everything back in the microwave and get everything brought back up to temperature. And see if we can't get a laminate shot. Again, Lure Works Royal Blue. That's the wrong size. I'm about messed up. Oh. 0 0.015 is what we want. We can get out to 0 0.008 for some reason. Again, one quarter teaspoon. It doesn't oversaturate it with, with flake, but gives it just enough to have that sparkle in the water when the light hits it. All right, we're going to throw this in the microwave, back in the vacuum chamber, get the final bubbles out of it, get it up to temperature, and shoot some laminates. All right, y'all, we're going to shoot this, y'all. Let's just look. We came up with there it is y'all one there that didn't shoot all the way 
There you are. Bluegrass. We decided, we said we'd shoot two new colors tonight, so that's what we're going to do. Or finishing letting these molds set up. Walk you through her. Walk you through her mixture on the bluegrass. Again. Lure Works, BB Blue, Pearl. Uh, 143 powder so BB blue pearl powder uh, out of number 143 one quarter teaspoon of uh, the blue pearl powder to one cup of plastic we put an eighth of a teaspoon of the pearl silver uh, 931 from Barlow Tackle any silver pearl powder would work we added uh, 0 0.015 Lure Works Royal Blue to the top, uh, the blue side. Uh, the bottom, we used MF Green Chartreuse 3355 X2 times 2, however you want to say it. 40 drops of that. For our preference, we added 10 more, which made 50 drops of the green chartreuse. And then uh, 0 0.015 of the silver hex cut from Lure Works. That's our recipe for bluegrass. Uh, we like it, customers like it. Uh, we've got a couple guys that we make that color for on a regular basis. been a little while since we've done it we don't have that recipe wrote down we personally when we're working a color up uh, generally we will write the recipe down once we get it the way we want it uh, we've got a, a whole notebook full of recipes uh, colors that we've matched colors that we've come up with ourselves just so we could be consistent on reproducing it time and time again Let's get these molds open, see what we got, what color this is. Uh, we've never shot this color before tonight. Y'all seeing it for the first time, same as we are. We went ahead and shot some big swim baits in it just to see what it looks like in a bigger bait. And we shot the three inch minnow mold again as well. This is a color from MF called Blue Watermelon. We just added some blue flake to it to accent the blue a little bit more. You can saturate it a little more, bring the blue out, right smart more in the bait. Uh, I kind of like it that way myself. We may, uh, we may add just a little more blue. Uh, but pretty nice color, pretty nice color from MF. like in it. Oh yeah. Pretty nice. Alright y'all. Epic bait modes. We 
This is the very first mold I've ever purchased from them. They do a good job with their molds. They put their logo on it and put the, the actual bait, etch it in the mold. Uh, they actually call this a three inch crappie slayer. Uh, we, we probably won't call it that on our website because we have a, a bait that we call LCL Slayer. As far as the mold, we're impressed. Um, we, mold shoots good, it laminates great. Uh, hey, this probably won't be the last mold uh, that we purchase from them. I hey, just want to say thank y'all for tuning in tonight to LCL Outdoors. I hey, showed you a couple of new colors tonight. We'll be releasing video recipe videos on those a little later. I just kind of want to give you guys a little sneak peek. Hope you guys enjoyed the video of our version of bluegrass tonight, the way we mix it uh, in person. It's about, I mean, it's real close to, to a perfect match with uh, Bobby Garland's bluegrass color. Hope you guys enjoyed tonight. Be sure to hit them buttons before you leave out. Until next time, thanks for watching LCL Outdoors.